Shaft Spotlight, we welcomed Colonel Kerr to learn more about the JROTC program. Good morning and welcome to PUA News. Today, I would like to introduce you to our guest. He is a teacher at Piscataway High School, Colonel Kerr. Please tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, thank you. Um, glad to be here. Uh, my name is Lieutenant Colonel Richard Kerr. I am uh, two years here at Piscataway High School now, retired from uh, 33 years of active duty and Air National Guard service. What did you do in the military? Well, I went into the military as a flight crew member, a navigator, and I flew on uh, KC-135 and HC-130 aircraft. How long did you do that job? From 1987 through 2020, a uh, total of 33 years. I spent 10 and a half years in the Air, Air Force proper, the active Air Force, and then I went to the Air National Guard in Pennsylvania and then New York. What made you pick the Air Force over the other branches and what made you choose that position exactly? Well, the Air Force had the most opportunities for what I was interested in. Um, I'd always been interested in aircraft and airplanes. I'd always wanted to serve, and the Air Force gave me the opportunity to uh, have the most chance of getting into a flying position. So that's why I chose the Air Force. Why did you become a JROTC teacher? Well, after 33 years of service to my country, um, it was time to decide what I wanted to do in my military retirement. And I still wanted to be a positive influence and have some impact on the future uh, leaders of this country. So I chose JROTC. What exactly is AFJROTC? Okay, it's a uh, voluntary elective at the high school, and it is a. Uh, there's different classes. Uh, the basic class is an introduct introductory level class. Then there is an aerospace science class that is general, and we go up to include aviation honors ground school, which teaches uh, how to become a pilot, and also a management class. It's uh, no obligation ever to join the military. Um, it's a, like I said, a voluntary elective, and we teach a lot of uh, leadership skills, a lot of teamwork, and a lot of time management and project management. Here are some fun Hispanic heritage facts. Observation started in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period starting on September 17th and ending on October 15th. The Hispanic Heritage Month is to recognize the achievement and contribution of Hispanic American champions who has inspired others to achieve success. Hi PHS, I'm Nate. We had made a survey for your snack preferences. We have in first place Sweets and Sours with 381 votes. We have Chocolate with 262 votes and Savory and Sold in third place with 122 votes. Now we know what to give the kids following. Recently, our community came together in celebration of Diwali. Let's have a look. Good morning and welcome to PHS News. My name is Nisha and today I'll be telling you about Diwali. Diwali is a five-day Hindu holiday starting on Monday, October 24th this year. The holiday honors the Hindu goddess of wealth, Lakshmi. During the festival, people who celebrate decorate their home with lights, oil lamps, and rangoli, which are designs made of colored rice, sand, or flowers on the floor of the home. The holiday is also spent lighting fireworks, partaking in pujas, and giving gifts. The rangoli is seen as a welcoming gesture to the gods, and the lights are said to guide the goddess Lakshmi into people's homes to bring prosperity for years to come. Diwali is a holiday filled with beautiful lights and decorations, so happy Diwali to all that celebrate. On Friday, October 21st, students got together for the Skyway High School's annual pep rap to celebrate ball sports. Let's check out some of the highlights from that day. We 
With Thanksgiving and the holiday season fast approaching, we asked PHS what they're most thankful for. Obviously my family, my friends, um, and also being a part of this beautiful Piscataway Chiefs community. I'm thankful for my mom because she's so hardworking. Good health and my family's all healthy. Uh, I'm thankful for my, my health, my family, and um, my students. Well, I'm thankful for my friends and my family, my wife, my children, everyone's healthy, my own health. I'm thankful for my family and um, my school and my students. Um, I love being here at Peeway. Thank you. This is my, daughter, my eldest daughter's birthday, and she was actually born on Thanksgiving, 12 p.m. Exactly, so I'm thankful for having her. She was my first baby. I'm thankful for my family and friends. For a successful year so far at school, for having great students, and for just having the opportunity to continue doing what I like to do. I'm thankful for my family and food and whatever I can eat. I love eating. It's Thanksgiving time. What are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful that we're having school all in person this year and I can see all of my students. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and it's Thanksgiving so everybody eat up good.